great day. In three days, we'll probably be doing Meg 6. For the 42 people who watch this, I'd say that this is close enough. Juniors and I have a score to settle. Two years ago, I finished night one through five, but never did night six. Why, you might ask, because I couldn't find the entrance to the damn door. So, it only seems reasonable that now I've become a mediocre Five Nights at Freddy's player, that I finally return and beat this game once and for all. And just realized I wasn't recording that entire intro. Alright, because I don't want to have to redo the intro, I'll just go over the highlights. Fred bears a ghost, there's ghosts hunting these animatronics, and I really gotta call the Ghostbusters, like holy crap. With the camera forcing an epilepsy warning and Freddy being the only one in the room, it can only mean one thing. Freddy <laughs> is the imposter. Honestly, I just call that skill. I really gotta start playing Phasmophobia someday. Okay, in my personal opinion, I feel like if a child were to see animatronics with giant green glowing eyes, they probably wouldn't show up to your establishment. Now, I know that might be a hot take, but that's my personal opinion. Also, it's Foxy's Haunted, okay? I beat the game! Yes! I get to go home now! Let's go! What? Why do I have a 1930s rotary phone? Hello? What do you mean there are five more nights? What do you mean I already knew this? What do you mean this joke sucks? Okay, I'm done. Is that just gonna keep running? Lore, 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 lore. Oh yeah, by the way, the rotary phone found a very nice axe. I think they had a very smashing time together. Lore, lore. Alrighty, that's enough lore for me. Time to start the investigation with animatronics that I would not let a single child go within a 10-foot radius of. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Good thing that these ghosts are nice enough to leave giant handprints on where the cameras are instead of, you know, ignoring them. Because if they, if they just ignore the cameras, then I'm screwed. Okay, honest question. Why is it that the ghost doesn't just kill us after we find out what they're in? I mean, seriously, if you think about it, it's the equivalent of a murderer randomly getting caught by some investigator in an abandoned pizza restaurant. I mean, they, they wouldn't just give up. They wouldn't throw in the towel. They'd freaking kill the guy. I mean, probably. I haven't been in a situation like that, so I don't really know, but... You know, I, one, one can assume. You know, it's a good thing that our friend here managed to get a PhD in mechanics before starting his investigation, or else we wouldn't be able to fix these animatronics, which apparently are more broken than Fallout 76 on release. Not gonna lie, I have zero information on who it could be. Hmm. Screw it. I'm just too good. That that's pure skill. That that was a skillful victory right there. Honestly, I have never seen a more earned win in my life. Oh, I stumbled across a conveniently placed tape. I hope that this doesn't have any unforeseen horrors that might appear. Wow, that actually really wasn't that bad. Oh, oh, ominous red light. I'm not really sure if that counts as an unforeseen horror. I'll give myself like a 50% on that one. Hey, 8-Bit Paul Bear, do you have any more exposition to spout to me? Yes? I don't care. Coming back for a third night after already completing my investigation two times over. That's what we call logic. You know, this might be due to a lack of checking what the lore says, but what are we investigating even anymore? Like, I know that the first night makes sense, like we were checking to see if the ghosts were haunted. Which I think we found out was true. Then we went back to check if the animatronics were actually haunted or if we were on drugs, which was also true. But what does that really leave to investigate at this point? Like, how many toes these animatronics have? Although I suppose that's a good theory. A game fear. I'm sorry, too soon. Wait a second, I'm gonna get copyrighted by this. God damn it. And survey says... Yes! Alright, I've completed the investigation for a third time in a row. Why I don't just do this during the afternoon, I do not understand. But you know what? We're just gonna go with it. Bonnie's been possessed by a ghost. This truly is the darkest timeline. Oh. Freddy and Bonnie are friends? No, don't start making me- Don't start making me care about these characters, goddammit. So if I'm getting this right... Me and Fredbear are becoming friends while staring at a giant brain talking about the mangle. What is this game even turning into anymore? Alright, fourth verse, same as the first three, except probably slightly harder and with slightly more pissy animatronics. Woohoo! 
I would like to introduce you all to the spinning camera trick. Why stare at one animatronic when you can stare at all five and not have to move the camera, which you could very easily put on the right hand side and you'd be able to see the entire room without changing the location of the camera. But no, we have to go with the logical explanation of putting it in the middle of the room and hoping for the best. Seriously, what do they expect the security cameras to follow? I'm staring at an arcade machine as the default. Given my track record of catching these ghosts, I'm starting to think that I might have to contact Netflix and get myself a show. Think about it. Ghost Hunting with a B. It's a working title name, by the way. So it turns out that the conveniently placed tapes are not conveniently placed, and instead, were put by a ghost. I'm starting to think that we might be just a really bad detective with above average observation skills. Yeah, okay, we've got a half asleep, or probably fully asleep Chica, bringing something somewhere. Okay. Oh. That's not ominous. Paul Bear, I'm not gonna lie, I stopped caring about what you were saying about 30 hours ago. And I didn't even stare at the game 30 hours ago. You know, I'm starting to think that I might be being a bit too harsh on Paul Bear. I mean, on one hand, it's just an 8-bit Freddy. On the other hand, it's just an 8-bit Freddy. I mean, what can I really- Paul Bear? You know, I'm trying to figure out the obligatory song of the day. I mean, on one hand, I could do Man Behind the Slaughter, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure that song's copyrighted. And on the other other hand, I'm pretty sure I already did Ghostbusters at one point. So I'm not really sure why I'm even thinking about this. Also, I entirely guessed that one. All right, time for the dramatic part of the video where I talk about my opinion of the game so far. Pretty damn good. Honestly, I enjoy it. It might just be because I have some nostalgia, because it's been a few years, but still, I really enjoy it. I'm happy that this was one of the games that set up my channel. Am I happy about the quality of those videos? No. Should I tell you to go watch them? Yes, just for the runtime, but no if you have ears. Or you could just watch this video multiple times. Honestly, I think that's a good compromise. Seriously, I need to watch a plot synopsis of this game, because so far the only thing I've gotten from these VHS tapes is that Claymation is really cool. Okay, strange question, is Paul Bear always mad? Is he, is he like making a frowny face? Oh my god, the door was right there the entire time. Okay. So, in case I didn't say this at the start of the intro, I'm just gonna say it now. The entire reason that I didn't do it, that I didn't do a Night 6 all those years ago, is because I originally thought that the door was there. I just didn't look to the right. I thought it was like hidden somewhere, like behind something. I thought it got swapped out with the arcade machine. No, it was just sitting right there the entire time, wasn't it? Well, now everything I have done for the past two years seems incredibly stupid. I mean, it already was incredibly stupid, but eh. All right, I got the Ghostbuster. What in the fu- hold up. I was- I was prepared to listen to some Ghostbuster music. What the fuck is going on here? Wait. Oh no. Oh god, it's FNAF 2 all over again. Are you kidding? Why did you have to pick FNAF 2? Look. I like it when on the final night they change things around. And honestly, this looks really well done. I just hate FNAF 2, it mostly due to the whole winding the music box thing. So... Wait, I didn't immediately die. Hold up. Oh my god, they increased the window that you can put on the mask. Never mind, this is a 10 out of 10 game. Originally, this scared the crap out of me, but now I'm starting to real- I I'm starting to get hyped about this. You know what? The background music's okay. The animatronics are looking scary. The music box is still a pain in the ass, but y you know, you win some, you lose some. Oh. Wow, really dr dramatic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're really building something up. Yeah? Are, are you gonna... Any year now. Any, any year now. Any, any year now. You're... Yeah. Wow. See, this started off being scary, but now it's just kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah. The, the music dropped while this was happening. That should not be happening. 
Also, the girl in the background is having a freaking spasm while listening to this. But what? Why? What? I I I've been here for like a minute. Look, I I understand building up suspense, but a full minute? Seriously? Okay, I guess I just have to go with it. Okay, so I didn't read all of the things that you have to do, but... Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the thing on my left, but... To my knowledge, what I'm supposed to do is put on the mask when I hear snake noises. And flash the light on them, because foxy logic, and something about finding a ghost in the cameras. That's... That's my current gist of what I'm doing. Now, I don't know how that translates into gameplay. But I'm gonna figure it out, probably. Hmm. What am I... Okay. I don't know how long I have left. Not gonna risk anything, but... Just pointing out that. Honestly, this is easier than part one of this night. I I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay. Oh. Yes! Honestly, that wasn't even that hard of a challenge. I, I, I can't even gloat about that. I mean, come on, game. You didn't let me gloat about winning a challenge. And that's like... One of my four character traits, right beside not knowing what Mario in the Music Box is, playing Minecraft to an absurd degree, and... Okay, I can't think of a fourth character trait, but I feel like that emphasizes that we need to focus on the first three. This is truly one of the most climactic moments in the history of gaming. I mean, a girl is grabbing onto a... 8-bit poly Fredbear. This is... This is truly... Traumatizing. This is truly the most insane thing that I have ever. He just stabbed a kid. I swear to God, if I'm put on a list for playing this game, I'm gonna be so pissed.